everybody, it's Carrie Lebeski, your Titus Hill Fire Department Life Safety Specialist. Today we are at Station 11's inside of their family room and we are going to read No Dragons for Tea by Jean Penzoel and Martin Gerbalt. One warm sunny day at the end of last week, my mom and I went for a walk to the creek. As I raced down the hill in my little red wagon, I veered to the left and smacked into a dragon. I suppose he could see there was fear in my eyes as I jumped up my feet quite filled with surprise. He sheepishly grinned and stepped out of the way, but he seemed so polite that I asked him to play. He had a cute bear and some other toys too. With my shovel and pail, we'd have oodles to do. We ran to the creek and then on to the bay where we played on the beach for the rest of the day. Then mom waved and said, now it's time to go eat. Let's pack the red wagon and head up the street. It's hard to stop playing with friends old or new. So I asked if the dragon could come to eat too. Mom wrinkled her brow and squinted her eyes, looking up at the dragon's incredible size. I begged and I pleaded, then said very sweet, We won't make a mess. We'll be tidy and neat. So at last she said yes. Just this once I'll agree. You may have the dragon come over for tea. We had carrots and apples, thick slices of ham, with fresh homemade biscuits and strawberry jam, cold glasses of milk, and a great big dill pickle, but the pepper we sprinkled sure made my nose tickle. Then the dragon's nose twitched, and he started to wheeze. His eyes misted up, and he blew a great big sneeze. Ah-choo! Well, we all know what happens when a dragon's ah-choo flame shot from his mouth and from both nostrils, too. Our tablecloth sparked and then burst into flame, and the curtains that hung right beside did the same. The smoke alarm rang. What a loud, piercing sound. It meant, get out fast, so I dropped to the ground. As the room filled with smoke, as I crawled on the floor and started to make my way to the front door, the dragon got scared and decided to hide. But I knew when there's fire, we must get outside. I grabbed his thick tail and with one mighty tug, I pulled that big dragon from under the rug. I crept down the hallway and said, follow me. I know the way out. We must meet by the tree. So mom and the dragon and I all met there. Then that silly old dragon went back in for his bear. We ran up and caught him and wouldn't let go. And I said, listen, dragon, here's what you should know. Don't ever go back. That will just not do. We can get a new bear, but we can't replace you. Since the fire was burning inside of our home, we went to the neighbors to borrow the phone. Mom knew what to dial and said calm and clear. Here's our full street address. Send the fire trucks here. Before very long, down our street they came sailing, with bright red lights flashing and loud sirens wailing. The fire crew rushed to start work on their tasks. They were dressed in big boots and wore helmets and masks. They hooked up the hose and ran into the house where they sprayed streams of water in order to douse. The table, the curtains, and our lovely snacks too. It didn't take long till that fire was through. The fire chief called out the door with a shout. The smoke made a mess, but the fire is out. My poor friend the dragon knew he was to blame, so he hung his head and wept tears of great shame. One of the fire crew said, don't be sad. You knew what to do, and of that we're quite glad. You all got out safely, and that's really what matters. Then she took us to see the big pump truck and ladders. The dragon put on a shiny red hat, and I asked to see where the fire crew sat. She showed us the siren, the hoses and lights, and the ladders they climb up to reach higher heights. 
The rest of the fire crew checked all the rooms while a fan in the door blew out gray smoke and fumes. Then the dragon and I, we sat down for a while. I reached up and hugged him. He gave me a smile. The next time the dragon and I want to play, we'll pack up a picnic and we'll go to the bay. We are friends, tried and true, the best we can be. But I'll never again invite dragons for tea. The end. All right. So, that was a good story. We want you to walk through your house and find two ways out and know where to meet your family outside. And you can share what you did if you practice your fire drill in the comments below so you know how to get out and stay out in case there's ever a fire. We'll see you later.